Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA here. Um, I'm testing out, I made another test target, a, a materials test pattern, uh, just playing around. And uh, I just figured I, I might as well produce this while I was going through it. So I'm gonna go to recent projects and do the material test pattern, update the overlay, and we're already pretty much good. So I used, um, the shape properties in the shape properties I used I have to ungroup it I don't know if I want to do all that uh, there we go if you go to shape properties I'm using power scale here that one's zero percent ten percent twenty percent as notated up here uh, and then the speeds are different this way and then here's engrave uh, speed and engrave power down here uh, this is being done on six millimeter MDF uh, it's double backed with hickory veneer and I've never worked with it before. So that stuff you see around that is not the, uh, the material. This is me putting stuff around the bed so that we can maximize the uh, airflow and not just have it be wasted up here and suck it all around the, the cabin. I'd rather it go out the sides and rear. So I covered up some of that empty space on the bed. Um, so I've already looked at this. And if you look at it in the preview, you can even see the power scale and effect there because of the gradation. Um, so I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to save it again. Now I'm going to send this to the machine and I'm going to go with uh, current position with the job origin at top right. And what that means is wherever you put your laser head, red dot, that box is representative of it. So I have my head right up here in the corner. Uh, so from the position of here, it's going to uh, frame my work right there. So uh, wherever, move, wherever you move your head, that's how the work is going to be laid out. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm going to send it to the machine because I plan on using it over and over again instead of hitting start and streaming it over. So now uh, the file is over on the control panel. We can just go over to the control panel. We're going to hit file, and there's our file. I'm going to hit enter. It'll show up on the display. We'll make sure that everything is in order. I'm going to frame it. And we'll see what happens.
Okay, so it's almost done. And I'll provide some good images of the test target. These settings are a little hot and a little slow uh, for thin material. Um, if you were to do this on like three ply birch, three millimeter birch, you just burn right through it with a lot of stuff. So you have to adjust your powers for the scales to do their, to do their job, or you'll have to adjust the, the settings, you know, to suit your laser. So, um, I'll report back as I get deeper into this thing, but I kind of want to try to make one of these as a standard, uh, if possible. Uh, that'll work across the board, or at least with the uh, Thunder series. So, all right, until next time, Brian with Thunder Laser USA, Support and Innovation Lab. Have a good day.